You're watching TVC Breakfast. Let's get into our next discussion. Nigeria is grappling with a wave of kidnappings for ransom, especially by armed gangs who frequently target schools for mass abductions of students. But the kidnapping of students by school officials is extremely rare. Now, recently in Kano State, a school proprietor, Abdul Malik Tanku, kidnapped one of his students, five-year-old Hanifa Bubaka, and killed her despite collecting ransom. In reacting to the incident, the state government suspended the operational license of all private schools in the state and will set up a special committee to carry out recertification of private schools. Although Mr. Tanku and two other co-accused have been arraigned before a magistrate court in the state and charged with criminal conspiracy, kidnapping and culpable homicide, the question on the lips of a cross-section of Nigerians is how safe are our schools if some officials are now getting involved in kidnappings of the children kept under their care? That's the big question now. Joining us to discuss this via Zoom from Kano State is the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, uh, Barrister Lawan Musa. Uh, Barrister, it's good to have you join me this morning. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Great. And also, good morning. Great. And also in the studio, his lawyer and executive uh, director, Prison Fellowship of uh, Nigeria, Barrister Ben Iwago. Good morning. It's good to have you join me. Good morning. Thank you. Great. Yes. All right. Uh, now, uh, let, let me come to you first, uh, Honorable Commissioner uh, Lawan Musa. Now, uh, this story, when it got out was really devastating, not just for those in Kano, but for all Nigerians at this time. Now, make us really understand, because we hear that there has been reaction from youths in the, state, in, in the States, and uh, there were, you know, uh, rallies here and there, and there were even burning of uh, some structures. Talk to us about this. Let's start from there. Well, um, thank you very much. And uh, indeed, uh, it was a very, very sad uh, event. Uh, um, like you said, uh, we're used to kidnapping by bandits on the roads, you know, but uh, kidnapping by a caregiver because uh, this is somebody that was entrusted with uh, this uh, little girl. And uh, he ended up kidnapping her. It was very, very shocking to uh people of Kano State and indeed Nigeria in general. Uh, yes, some youth were very angry, youth in the area, because the school was uh, was newly established and uh, Hanipa uh, just uh, was uh, taken to the school last time. This is just, uh, this was supposed to be her second time. So you can understand the shock and uh, the anger of the people in the area because uh, when he came to the area to establish the school he was uh, part of the community praying with them uh, going from house to house soliciting for them to give uh, their children uh, to the school the school being uh, new uh, unfortunately uh, this incidents happened so of course the community there were very angry and uh, in the middle of the night uh, they went in and pumped down the school. Uh, the state government already, even before this incident, because Kano uh, being a cosmopolitan city and uh, a lot of population, we had observed uh, new schools, new private schools springing up without uh, proper documentation, proper registration, without... Um, the bio data of the owners or proprietors of the school uh, being taken. Uh, a special task force was set up to uh, to do that job. Uh, when is this incident happened, we felt that it's important to suspend the, last, the licenses of these schools so that uh, the property is done. This is to safeguard uh, the society in general, to safeguard uh, the people, because some of these schools are not even uh on record the state government does not even know the existence of these schools most people will just go and establish a school and and and, and that's it and because of the population and you know because of uh the cost of living the cost uh, the 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 rate of uh, school fees i believe because in some of these schools the, space, the school fees is very very low so parents tend to 
just give their children. So that is the reason why the government took this step. All right. Uh, I'll come back to you on this uh, so we can have uh, a better understanding and perspectives to it. But let me come to uh, Ben in the studio. Now, the, the point there is, it is expected that after the home where children are supposed to be, the school is the next most safe place that the students spend time and parents and any, anyone goes to, you know, goes to sleep. The child is in school, so, uh, you know. But how, how scary would it be now that a proprietor of a school from, uh, from, the, from the reports uh, that uh, we got from Kano for what is go it's going on gets involved in a situation like this? It's really a very sad and uh, a terrible situation mm -hmm. where a custodian turns out to be the, <laughs> the aggressor, turns out to be the uh, 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 destroyer of what was committed into his care. But basic and fundamental to kidnappings, whatever, including Abdul Malik and all that, mm -hmm. is money. Uh, I'm sorry, but the holy book says the love of money is the root of all evil. So it's a deep malice that has eaten deep into the fabric of society such that a proprietor who opened his doors to educate now turns out to prey mm -hmm. on the same children no, for the money's point, sake. But, yeah, but the point there is, if, if money is at the root of this, yes. the, the point there is, you called out for ransom and the ransom was paid. You got your money. Yes. So why take the life of the child? These are questions anyway. Yes, I agree with you. Mm. Two things. Apparently, the child recognized him from what we read. Okay. Okay? And he doesn't want to die. Eventually, he's been caught up. The other thing, he wanted to further exploit his wickedness by asking for additional ransom. So at the root of it, it was not love for society. It was not love for the girl. But for self. Collected the first, was going for the second. Mm. And then under the pretext he doesn't want his skin touched, he killed a child. So it helps at our basic moral values. Whichever we, way we look at it, our society has so degenerated. Whether you are talking of the CEO in a corporate suit, or the politician in Abuja, or the school boy. Look, you can imagine how many, the other day, a student killed her girlfriend. What for? Mm. Money. So at the root of it all is loss of values and uh, a needless heightening of the love for material acquisition. And until we are able to address that in a more fundamental way, you will have more Abdul Malik's. We just hope not. And that's why we have the commissioner here talking to us from the perspective of what the government will do in this case. Now, uh, let me come back to you, uh, Honorable Commissioner. The issue there is a lot of reactions have come, especially comments from people, because when we, when we talk about out-of-school children, the northern part yeah. bears the, 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 the brunt of that more than any other aspect, uh, uh, part of the country. So when schools are closed down for a period of time, uh, wouldn't that be counterproductive? That's what uh, people are looking at. Talk to us from that window. Um, yes, that is true. But uh, the schools will not be closed down. Like I told you, we already have a tax force. Uh, what we intend to do, the, of course, the Ministry of uh, Education or the Commission of Education is in a better position to explain this. But what we intend to do is to take stock of all the private schools one by one. You understand? And then uh, let me come back to what you said about the out-of-school children. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to remember that in Kano we have a policy of uh, pre- and compulsory education. There is a law that has been passed that, uh, of course, if any parents uh, who does not take his child to school who is the, uh, within the school age uh, is uh, in uh, contravention of the law and can even be imprisoned uh, education is free and compulsory up to the junior secondary school. But coming back to, to this issue, uh, of course, uh, we are not going to close down all the private schools. Because of course, that would uh, create chaos. But what we are saying is those licenses they have now are suspended. We are going to scrutinize them. We are going to take the bio data of all the uh, proprietors of those schools the teachers of those schools, because um, 
it's it's is is security is of paramount importance now uh we do not joke with security um despite this uh incidents you know uh kano is relatively safe in the northern part of the country uh, kano is the safest uh, state uh, but uh, if like you said god forbid if this is allowed to take root if this is allowed to continue then we as a government will find it very very hard to convince parents to take their children to, uh, to take their children to school not uh, even private school even government schools so that is why drastic drastic uh, uh, action has to be taken to curtail this at its uh, 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 beginning all right. Now, uh, can, can you enlighten us? Um, this Abdul Malik Tanko school that he just opened or established, is it, is it registered? Yes, uh, okay. it is registered, but not, uh, you understand, there are so many conditions to be fulfilled. And like I told you, mm. uh, Kano being a very, very uh, big uh, city, it's very, very hard. Sometimes when they open this school, before you can come in for inspection, before you can certify the school, they have already uh, started. But this particular school, his own school, when I say registered, I do not mean that he has a license to operate. Mm. No. You know, there are procedures to be followed, but he did not complete the procedures because I, I show you, based on the guidelines and the conditions we even have now, it is... It, it will have been impossible for him to get a license. You need to see the school. You need to see where it is uh, located. So he just went ahead and uh, uh, um, started the operation of the school. And we have to uh, also call on parents and communities within Kano State and indeed Nigeria in general. You know, we cannot just continue with this attitude of just trusting people. Just because right. somebody comes, uh, he he rents a house, paints it, give it a name of a school, you don't just take your child hmm. to, that, uh, to that person and hand over your child to that person. You have to investigate. You have to find out. It is, and it's very easy for parents to do that because if you want to take your child to a school, uh, you feel that uh, he should go to, it's very easy for them to walk to the Ministry of Education or any ministry. Look, I live in so so area, there is a new school, especially if it is a new school. There is a new school. Can I check the register? If it is registered and if All it right. is properly licensed, that okay. will take more than 30 minutes. All right. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, Honorable Commissioner. We're trying to manage the time now. Now, uh, Ben, okay. the point there is, when it comes to impact on this on school enrollment, what what impact will this have on parents now? Like the commissioner is saying, before a parent you know enrolls a child in the school, you go to the ministry or you go to you know make verifications. How easy will these things be generally? Well, I mean, all it calls for is greater sacrifice, mm. vigilance, because there is no amount that can equate to life. So all it means is greater dedication on the part of parents mm. and uh, caregivers and all that. Dedicate time, investigate, ascertain. But beyond all this, there is also the environmental factors. The persons who perpetrate these crimes are members of society. Mm. They look at you, they look at me. What do they deduce from us? What are the uh, what, what are the reasons? What are the basic causes of these things? Mm. I think we should also look at them because if you are treating just the manifestation, you are not treating the cause, you might just well be wasting your time. So like I said, we need values reorientation. Mm. We need a greater in, uh, uh, vigilance. And all this all time, you know, I was saying money the other time, but you didn't seem to be persuaded. Corruption. The single name for corruption is money. And that is what school children go to primary school, cultism, and they are all tied together. We need to begin to look at our leaders and say, this is the way to go. So all it calls for is a decision, mm -hmm. both of political leadership, religio uh, religious uh, uh, leadership, educational leadership, to say, come on, let's walk the talk. 
All right. A good place to leave it now. Uh, Benny Wago, thank you so much for coming on the program today. Thank you. And uh, Honorable Commissioner for Justice and Attorney General of Kano State, uh, Lawan Musa, thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you.